Also tonight, a South Florida man in a terrible car accident in Cuba. I was in coma eight days. I had a puncture lungs. I had a machine breathing for me. That was just the beginning. And there was still uh, guards with, uh, with guns. Took me to the hospital in Havana from the prison, the biggest prison in Cuba. Tonight, he shares his story of survival. He spent more than two years behind bars for a crime he insists he didn't commit. He also had to deal with the pain of losing loved ones on the night of the crash. Seven Lynn Martinez is live in the Plex with more on his road to recovery. Lynn? Belkis and Craig, this young South Florida man is trying to put a very horrifying trip to Cuba behind him with the help from a very generous doctor. Victor Barroso Jr.'s November 2012 trip to Cuba became a nightmare that lasted for more than two years. I went there to uh, visit my family. My dad has nine brothers and sisters. I'm more curious uh, seeing my family. He was with a friend who was from the U.S. and his cousins from Cuba en route to a party when... A truck uh, hit us head on. It had 44 passengers. It flips. It is our, my car. Um, two of them passed away. 33 were sent to the hospital of the truck. And all four of my car passed away. Victor barely survived. I was in coma eight days. I had a puncture lungs. I had a machine breathing for me. I had five blood transfusions, so I went to, to the hospital with almost no blood, and I had a uh, brain trauma. The head trauma caused him memory loss that he still struggles with today. He also lost his right arm, something his concerned mother tried to shield him from. I kept asking, where's my arm, where's my arm? My mom would tell me, no, no, it's still there, it's there. Just relax, go to sleep. Victor says he was still very confused and far from recovered when he was hauled into court falsely blamed for causing the accident and then sent to prison. I was in prison 28 months and one day. He would return to the United States as part of the historic change in relations with Cuba. Victor, who is a computer programmer, turned to social media to find a doctor to help him in his recovery. He began by reaching out to Boca Raton plastic surgeon, Dr. Alan Bauman. As soon as I met him, as soon as I saw him and learned his story, and about his plight, I, I knew we had to help him. The doctor treated Victor's head injuries, restoring hair to his injured scalp and sideburn areas, and he did it all pro bono. I hugged him and I, I cried and my tears came down. Now the 24-year-old is working to raise enough money to get a new prosthetic arm. With a dollar, two dollars, five dollars, every little help helps me to, to get my arm back, to get my surgery and my arm that was taken away from me. Wow, what an incredible doctor. If you'd like to help Victor in his efforts to get a new prosthetic arm, we have a link to his GoFundMe account on our website. You know what it is, WSVN.com. In the Newsplex, Lynn Martinez, 7 News.